beautiful people, my name is Smydave UK, and we're going to play a new game called Narc. I'm a little bit ill at the moment, and I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself as well. And I knew exactly the moment when I started being ill because I was drinking water and it went down the wrong hole. But you know when it stays there for too long and you're just like, that's going to turn into a chest infection. Ah. Uh... And here we have said result of stupidity. But this isn't about that. No, no. NARC stands for not answered Reddit questions. I'm going to answer them, but not for them, but for you. <laughs> oh, yes. You lucky things. Not answer Reddit. <laughs> What's that? Reddit questions. So question one, have you ever witnessed a bride or groom say, I do not at a wedding? If so, what happened next? I have not. <laughs> I have been to a wedding where they have no religious things whatsoever. That's fun. The, the hymn of the day was Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. It was amazing. Although I came in a little bit too, and when I found out that that was the hymn, I found out moments before, so my excitement levels that were quite high. So when I came and it was, we're not strangers to love. And just like everyone. <laughs> My mate next to me, Tom, saw what was happening and he, he tried to join in and help me out. Everyone else just giggled and judged. What is the most your parents didn't love you given name you have heard in real life? Dave Brown. That's my name. That's my real name. It's so unimaginative. To be fair, I chose to call it Dave because it was David Brown, which makes me sound, which is, it's so, so common that it's the name of a tractor company. It's up there with John Smith and Bob do even Bob's better? Bob Brown. Bobby Brown, that was a thing. So yeah, my name. You get paid 500 an hour. What career would you still turn down for this price? You get paid 500 an hour. 500 what? It doesn't say, it doesn't say what sum of money. It just says 500 an hour. 500 corona, dollars, pounds, pence. I mean, I would take, that. Like, beggars can't be choosers right now. I, I am very happy, I'll do any job for 500 an hour. I, I don't want to say that, I, I've immediately regretted that. Like, it would have to be a constant thing. It wouldn't just be paying five pounds or 500 quid, make him do something terrible for an hour. Although saying that, no, it hasn't come to that, not yet. Yes. What TV series do you keep watching over and over? Why keep going back to the same show? There are like three. Parks and Rec, everyone should watch that. The Office, The American Office and always sunny in Philadelphia. It's just perfect. But I watch so many cartoons, but like if it's talking about like real series, those are the three. Always sunny, Parks and Rec, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh no, <laughs> what did I say? Always sunny, Brooklyn nine -Nine. Always sunny, The Office, and Parks and Rec. Although Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you should have a bunch of that as well. What is the least toxic, friendliest community on Reddit? I don't know, I'm not on here enough. <coughs> ah, Non-German Redditors. Well, that's the Australian. What one thing about German culture and habits would you like to have explained to you? I get the sausage. I get the sausages. I get the big beers. How? How have you gone from losing two wars to becoming such amazing people and creating a better industry than most other countries ever? Like my mates go to to on tour and they cannot wait to go in, on tour in Germany because they get treated so well. A, a band always asks for a rider, so food and drink. And when they go to a UK one, it's literally like, I don't know, part of a subway someone dropped and some sandwiches that their mum made, the promoter's mum made before he left the house that morning. But in Germany, they'll put like a full, full spread on. It'd be like a really like sort of cheap wedding. My mate is in a metal band and they weren't that big. He got driven from, from to and from their hotel. In a limo, to a small club. It was insane. That's amazing. So how you've done that, if I don't want to know, hold on to that secret, don't let anyone else know. <coughs> it was the worst way you or someone you know has been fired from your job. The worst way I've been fired from a job is I had a day off. I was working for Southern Electric. I don't care, I'm gonna say your name. And I wouldn't sell to the elderly people, fact. I was working for like boiler insurance cover, and then it was like telephone and internet cover. And these these pensions, it would have it would have saved the money. Yes, it would have saved the money. But the sheer getting a credit card and giving you a number over the phone, which they're told all the time not to do, like it scares them. They haven't got long left. I'm not going to fill it out by me going. Excuse me, can I have the three numbers on the back? Yeah, one guy was such a hard seller. The woman had a stroke on the phone. 
right? And just because someone had picked up on it because he put it on loudspeaker, someone said, oh, I think she's having a stroke. So he rang up and got the police to go around there. The next day, he got an award. He got an award for technically giving someone a stroke. But if he hadn't made that call and made her get a credit card number and asking her questions she didn't want to answer, she would have had a stroke in the first place. <laughs> so to answer that question, I took one sick day and they, they chose to get rid of me on that day. I'm not bitter. Cowards. <coughs> what is the weirdest rumor you heard about yourself in high school? I've had so many rumors about me. I don't know about high school, but I was working abroad and when I went away for a two week holiday, back to the UK, to re remind myself why I was in Tenerife in the first place, I walked to the bar and he looked like he'd seen a ghost. And I said, are you all right? And he went, are you all right? I was like, yeah, why? He goes, oh, well you died last week. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> what episode of a show really creeped you out? Oh, um, Courage the Cowardly Dog. There's lots of like cartoons that have scared me, but none like the Cartoon Network cartoon kids friendly Courage the Cowardly Dog. There was one episode, it was to do with a chicken who was taking over. You won't find it, they've changed. I, I looked on Netflix because I saw Courage on there at one point and they've changed it about. So you can't see the terrifying episode that was, but it was horrific. Absolutely horrific. It, it wasn't even like like jump scary. It was psychologically traumatizing. This chicken that was giving the dog so much shit. It was, you won't find it. You will not find it. I have tried looking. I, I, I can't remember, even remember. It's like been repressed in my mind. But yeah, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I can't remember which one, but it's one with a chicken. And the chicken's creepy as hell. So yeah. I think we're gonna end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you if you want to answer those questions as well, I'd be interested to find out. I like the one about rumors because I think rumors are terrible, awful, and hilarious things. But if you've got a good one, let me know. Write down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Chiddle Pit. <laughs>